highlighting the achievements of the veterans from the Amadou Bello University in Zaria, Kaduna State, is what we are doing on today's episode. Plus, a contemporary artist is showing us his priceless exhibition at the Nikkei Art Gallery in Lagos. You'll get details in a moment. A warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. A story that must be told never forgives silence. Whatever music you beat on your drum, there is somebody who can dance to it. Zaria Art Society Celebration of Legacies is an exhibition which salutes the masters of the contemporary art scene who made a name for themselves while in the university. Art enthusiasts gather to celebrate their feat at the Art House space in Lagos. It's a legacy that has been a point of reference, not just in the Nigerian art space, but beyond. The role of the Zaria Rebels in 1958 from the Nigerian College of Arts, Science and Technology, an institution that evolved into the Amadou Bello University in Kaduna State, which produced Yusuf Grillo, Demas Mwoko, Emmanuel Odita, Simon Okeke, Uche Okeke, Bruce Onobrakbea, and Oseloka Osadede. Great names who Art House Contemporary has decided to single out to celebrate, although not everyone could make it to the party. Well, they're all in their 80s. Two of them have passed away. Five are alive. Three are here with us. Two are in America. They were all um, in class together, and they all are incredible artists. They are legacy, they are history, they are Nigeria. For the living legends who made it, their protégés are drawn to them like bees to honey. That's not surprising considering they have either read, learned or hoped to see them in their artistic careers. It's a type of recognition for us and somebody or group are really sponsoring it, giving everybody the opportunity to meet us and our work. We've got a group of artists together who were called the Zaria Rebels or the Zaria Art Society and they were in school in the 60s and they rebelled against the teacher who, and they said to him that we w we've learned how to paint but we want to show our culture our people on the canvases. So they broke away from the you know, normal way of, of um, producing works and started producing works that they felt could show their culture and their dreams because they were young in the 60s and their, you know, independence had just happened. So they had all these visions and dreams of a greater Nigeria. So, this is indeed a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to feed from this pool of knowledge as they interact with the works they have produced and learn about the philosophy that gave birth to the contemporary art scene in the country, displayed in Zaria Art Society, Celebration of Legacies. I am a picture of my father and myself, you know, when I was very young. Because my father influenced me a lot in my life. You know, I practiced 
I practice what he practice. Uh, uh, though he was an Oba, but uh, um, uh, he was also a very creative person. So that's one word that I live by, you know. Um, uh, so um, uh, the other one is uh, the experience of the trauma of the Civil War. You know, like that warrior showing us that uh, when you get into such a situation, you lose all. You lose virtually all. And you are striped naked. You know. And that should remind everybody that we shouldn't find ourselves in that situation ever, forever and ever. I think it's, a, it's very good. We've divided up the room into seven areas because we have seven artists and each artist is really well represented with perhaps sculptures, prints, sketches, gouache on paper, oil on board. So we have all mediums over here that have been represented by all these artists and they have done a phenomenal job. They are not the only ones, as other distinguished guests grace the occasion to enjoy the paintings, drawings, sculptures, designs, prints and other forms of art creation as well as archival materials that explore the history of the Zaria Art Society. Each one is so individual. Some of them only painted in the 60s so they have a small body of work. Some kept going on like Bruce Onabrakpai and Yusuf Grillo and Odita have kept going and they're still producing works and they're still painting. Demis Tawoko went into architecture, theatre design, furniture making and so he he's went out of painting. But his body of work are all works that he did in the 60s. Um, Grillo was the head of Yaba Tech for many years and then he had one show in the 90s and after that we had a show of his, a solo show of his, in 2015. And now, this is a culmination of two years where we've been able to bring all the bodies of work together from America and from other parts of Nigeria. The famous Zaria rebels, who have grown to become veteran artists, refused the Western-centric educational framework of the time, preferring to showcase indigenous artistic styles and narratives. So this special exhibition curated by Jerry Buhari, a professor of fine art at the Amado Bello University, is one that will definitely go down in history. It's really amazing to see all the masters in one place. I'm sure most of the younger artists were starstruck. It's one thing to read about them in school, but seeing them in the flesh is a whole new ball game. Now let's see the works of art you sent in and we'll be right back. And these are the works of art that made the cut for this week. Let's begin with this one called Beauty. It's done by Jeremiah Oshundino. It's a charcoal pencil on shipboard paper work of art. <music> to 
to heritage, which is done with pastel on newsprint. Paul Ogunlesi has Psalm 27, done with newsprint and acrylic on canvas. While Ezekiel is exploring a teacher's tale, which is acrylic on canvas work of art. A head full of dreams is Ido Adewale's graphite and charcoal pencil on newsprint work. Then Shekere is a work of art done by Eddie Otebele. It's done with oil on canvas. Finally, Julius Adeyemi gives us this one, In Search of Peace, is done with charcoal and graphite pencil on paper. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming. And don't forget, put the relevant information beside that image. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere.